Welcome back, folks. Uh, we are talking to the bad guy. I'm sure he's a baddie. Let's just say Murum and I didn't see eye to eye. It got so bad that we were threatening to kill each other on a daily basis. Obviously, that bastard made good on his threat. He runs a jagged fingernail across his oozing wound. Sank a dagger into my chest while I was sleeping and dumped my body in the catacombs. If Monorum killed you, how are we having this conversation? Preserved my mind and my memory with his magic and knife, uh, and a few timely preparations. Yet now my soul is anchored to this decaying husk. Monorum stole a life from me, and I left him, uh, left me with a wrecked corpse and this craving. Monorum keeps all his precious. Uh, keeps all that is precious to him in a trunk in his laboratory. Just as he stole my grimoire, he offers you a key with a claw-like hand. Add to the stash. On your way to Backroom Santorum, then, bring me my grimoire and my revenge, and you can have your... Well, yeah, he chokes on a blood and chuckle. Where are those creatures behind you? Just a few personal projects. Sorry, souls stuck in their mortal shells. Their flesh is the dead as mine. Though their mind are not as well ma maintained. They flock to me like worms to dregs. They are not half as intelligent, but uh, they serve for amusement. What are you doing down here? Research. A hodge uh, podge of animacy and necromancy. I have peace and quiet as well as uh, any abundant supply of subjects. I was just exploring the catacombs. Go then and thank your god I am not hungry. Farewell. Rivenant. Let's see what we got here. Grim assortment of items. Revenant. Let's go ahead and check this place since I'm sure that this side is trapped as well. Hmm. Yep, told ya, told ya. Freaking traps, man. Now that we did that. So he wants us to go to the sanatorium. Interesting. Let's go talk to this guy. Those, those traps, man. I hate traps. I really do. When I DM games and stuff, I never put traps in. Traps slow down the action, and unless there's like a rogue in the group, there's no need for them. Seriously, like when is he going, I mean, is he a trap maker? No, he's an animancer slash uh, necromancer. Why would he be making traps? Wouldn't he hire somebody to make traps? I mean, I'm sure there's rogues and stuff down there. I'm saying that, you know, it just doesn't make sense. Why would a mage slash... Uh, well. Just like dragons. I could see dragons having curse. I could see you had dragons having, like, gold... Um, golems, gold scarabs, gold stuff. But I, I, I don't see it. I honestly don't. Uh, was this the guy? No, that was not the guy. The guy was right here. Yeah, here he is. Hail, traveler. Did you find her? I'm still searching. So where is the sanatorium? Darmancy home. House. Goose and fox. Actually, let's go to the marketplace. We haven't we haven't gone shopping. We 
We do need to sell a bunch of junk, though. Definitely need to sell a bunch of junk. All right. Let's see what this guy has to say. Please move along. I have a long list to get through. Well met, friend. Oh, young woman, take your time, traveler. I'm looking for enchanted scrolls or garbs. We've come to the right place. Seal of Faith. Right. Ring of Deflection plus nine. Ring of Protection. That's a lot. So just go ahead and sell a bunch of junk. Stuff that we know we're not going to use. Spot letter, pry bar, keep, 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 keep. Morning star, sell that. Not going to use, not going to use. Let's see here, adjudicator, commoner. Show me your wares. So this is the food guy. Okay, doesn't look like he's got much there. Try for his soul and ah, here we go. Weapons. Hello. Come to take a look. You wouldn't find a finer collection of armor and weaponry in Defiance Bay, outside of some of Sermelia, of course. So special about this morning. She operates in the expedition hall. Sells best equipment in the city, but Wayne keeps her on a short leash. Keeps her fine inventory reserves for chartering expeditionist. Member of the dozen and everyone else he, he takes to liking to. See what you have for sale. A war bow too. Wow, that look how much gold that is. That is exceptionally fine. What is that? Lady's hand is a scepter. Pike. Shatterstar. Hmm. Uh, plate armor. There's place right there. Pike's pride. Breakout of will. That's a decent. Plus two intelligence. That's pretty good. Sure, we'll take that. Take a cry, cry, uh, great helm. That's all we'll take for now. We'll trade you these things, rods. Anything else? Wolf high. Nope. Go ahead and trade that. He's got some nice items, but uh, they're expensive. Oh, so very expensive. All right. So what else is around here? Mercenary. Mercenary. So just go talk to the mercenaries. Let's see if the mercenaries have anything to do with anything. You can retain a character from first level, though any end reference. The cost to re retain the character increases with level. The dozens may not like us foreigners much, but they certainly don't mind taking our coin. All right. A well-groomed man steps through the hall in a confident swagger, smug grin etched on his face. He is flanked by five hard-looking individuals. Another pup comes wandering in, I see. Just know that Ren's giant slayer runs things around here, and you'll be fine. 
Um, can I join? He laughs. Around here, we get our pick of the best adventurers, and we don't take charity cases. Enough jabber, Ren. You're going to do a job or talk about it. Gwen's right. The coin ain't going to collect itself. See you around, pup. Okay, stuck to them. Don't stand on ceremony. State your business. I'm looking for work. Go see Osri. He's usually got something. You do well for him. Maybe I can find you more. Tell me about the dozen. Good men and women trying to walk the footsteps of great men and men who came before us. We're loose associated with wars and expositions in the Deerwood. Not as fancy as the Crystal Knights, mind you, but at least we remember our roots. If they remember someone else's roots and pretend that, uh, to be like them, he means. Your roots? Crucible Knights take pride in having won the Jaro's Freedom 150 years ago, but we're the ones who've protected it. Everyone knows that the Saints' uh, war ended with the God Hammers destroying uh, Waywinds and Darwin's bridge. A lot of folks don't know it, how Wayrin uh, wound up on that bridge. Some men, five women, all walked out on the Clarence Cathedral and faced down a god. Helped him there until the bomb went off. That's the legacy we defend. Uh, some call us mercenaries, but we don't need matching armor and silky, silky cloaks to remember our roles. We're the same now as we were then. We stand up for the people, first line of defense, whatever it takes. We've got new enemies now. If it's not Warren's, it's his damn legacy. It's the damned soul butchers of Blacker Buckenberry, making things worse for us, for all of us, probably causing the whole thing one way or another. Well, we haven't gone anywhere, and there's a lot more than 12 of us now. We defend the Deerwood once, and we'll do so again. All right, for a while. So we need to find Osrin. Okay, so that's thieving, thieving. There we are. Keep your guard up. The last time, Aid, we keep your fucking blade up. If that dummy was armed, it'd have your head off. Oh, uh, we're looking for work. For an expedition, talk to Wen. I just handled these mercenary shit shovelers. <laughs> Adventurers, I mean. <laughs> okay. Although he says to do. I do have something I need done, something that requires competence. What do you need done? I was formerly one of the Knights of the Crucible. When I left, they kept my arms and armor. The arms they can have, but the armor belonged to my family. I'd like it back. Oh, uh, why don't you just go ask for it back? No, no. They'd like that, I'm sure. But I won't be going. I'll sooner be torn apart by dogs than give Satisfaction. Doesn't sound like leaving the Crucible Knights was your choice. You don't choose to leave knighthood. The Crucible Knights, they may not be a real knighthood, but the oaths you swear are just as true. Still, hmm. it turns out that even unofficial knighthoods have politics. When you cross the wrong man, suddenly all kinds of accusations are thrown your way, and nobody believes you. Nothing more destructive than a crowd with the wrong idea. What's this armor? It's a breastplate. Not much to look at, and it's seen far too much use, but it's been in my family since the liberation. Let's see what I can do. Then it's Penhelm you're looking for. Penhelm. Low snake of a man. If he was to die choking on his own black tongue, it'd be too kind of fate. He kept it when he had to be kicked out. Hmm. Got word the reliable source of uh, Penhelm's visit a foreigner. Uh, and Gron's gift right after having his soul lineage read by a cipher and dinner, dinner roll. Should you have it in your heart to find a way to ruin his life while you're there, well, drinks on me. Having his soul lineage read. It's a requirement to join the Knights. They have to ensure an officiate doesn't have a subversive lineage. And if Penhelm's superiors found out his affidavit was a fake, his career would be over. Every novitiate gets an affidavit from Dunreed Row, and those are stored in Crucible Keep. If you find Penhelms, 
one of those ciphers could tell you if it's real. I'll get you your armor, but I'm not going to discredit him. Generations of Mescan traditions are any addiction this prim helm. Probably doesn't remember it. Still, in past like that has to count for something. Tell me about the exposition hall. Treasure hunting, plain and simple. Sponsors up by money. Hire adventurers to explore the wilds, looking for runes mostly. If they come back alive, they split the spoils. If not, it's because they're handled their weapon like this lot in front of me, who might as well be digging their own graves right now. Maybe more than one, by the looks of you. I'll show you who's available. Okay, cool. Rogue Knight, find the heirloom. Okay, so just go find Penhas. Penhelm, or whatever his name is. Ah, oh, yes. So many side quests. So the Crucible Knights. Sound like a Paladin Order, or like a very, very... high to twenty up and tight. Uh, men of Station and... S and the, let's see here. Um, so we got that. Uh, Serator's house. Black and Mary Catacombs. Uh, let's see here. First fires. So we need to actually tag all these things. All these places. We really do. Um, do, 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 do world map. Let's go Blackenbury. In order to access them. Hmm. There's also a necromancer. Let's see who this guy is. Shout for soul. And step back. Interesting. It's over here, mister. Let's talk to him. Young boy watches the passerbys and counts a grimy handful of coins. His face and arms are smudged with dirt, but except the ga grass stains, his clothes look in good condition. As you approach, he blinks and makes a quick, futile effort to pocket his coins. Hey, mister, want to know a secret? I know a real good secret. Careful, I've traveled the continents, and this uh, hardiest bargain still comes from a seven-year-old. Really? What is it? He shrugs and crosses his hands uh, behind his back, kicking a loose pebble. I just saw folks hiding some really neat things. I could show you where, but Mom and Dad told me not to talk to strangers. But maybe you could help me with something. Then we wouldn't be strangers. Help you with what? The Crucible Knights have these daggers made out of March steels. It's the best steel around, except for Dragon steel, which doesn't count because no one makes it anymore. Anyway, there's this merchant over by the exposition hall, and he has a dagger made of real March steel. He said he wouldn't sell it to me because I'm just I'm a kid, and kids don't know anything about daggers. But that's not true. I know a lot about daggers. I know about the different kinds of steel. I know how the crystal knives make their in their forge. I know how that the tip can pierce a low grade scale armor and one that's good and sharp can cut through bone. See, I know plenty about daggers, and I really, really want this one. And if you could just get it for me, I promise I'll never, ever ask anyone for anything ever again. Hmm. March Steel, the lad has good taste. I only uh, ever had little shark uh, stickers as a kid. Moisture for oysters. Some managed to poke a hole in my palm once. Oh, 
mom, I could, uh, I could take the kid. That doesn't seem nice. Sounds reasonable. I'll get it for you. I get... Uh, What's the point of having an awesome might? Uh, sounds reasonable. Well, I'll get it for you. I knew a real adventurer would understand. He points to a larger building. There's a big merchant over by Andren's Den who sells weapons. He's the one with a dagger. I'll wait right here for you. Andren's Den. Where is the den? Interesting. EP! Gotta get that experience. There we go. Let's go on to the next territory. Give me those tasty, tasty quests. I'll take them all. Take them all, man. Take them all. The charred barrel. But I'm not the only one that has the uh, torch out. Party stash can be used to hold excess gear when their inventory fills up. Some types like quest items and ingredients automatically. Something or another. Did she send you to run me out of town? You can tell her that I'm not going anywhere without that medallion. Um, I told Sarah that I wouldn't let her sell it, and that's what you're here about. And save yourself the trouble. Uh, just tell me what the problem is. If you have to ask, you're obviously not here to shake me down. Since of course on over at the salty mass of Enron's gift, uh, we've been working together for over a year now. I find a noble with more money than sense. Fill him up with liquor and send him her way. They have a good time and certainly takes her free fee and a little extra. A hundred coppers here, a trinket there, it's bounty for us. And these lords and ladies never notice anything's missing. Missing. Go on. Anyways, we've been spilling, spilling the bounty until a week ago. She takes the necklace off some noble. It's an Enerwin medallion. Damn thing's nearly priceless. Relic is sacred to my clan, and she wouldn't part with it for any sum I could afford, uh, offer. And even if I wanted to, I can't go home without it. That's a hard thing. Tell me more about your situation. Tell me about her. She's a course on salty mass. Over and on's gift. She wasn't born too much, but she's done what she could in order to escape that you seem like you've done well enough for yourself clenches this thing it was this or a scrap by the gutter like the rest of my life i wouldn't give it all for a medallion i offered to it's but it's worth more than anything i've gotten so it knows that what makes this medallion so important to you I grew up in Aeron Gethfell and the Shattered Spear Clans. We Gethin have protected Aeron ruins for thousands of years. It's the one duty the god asked, gods asked us in exchange for the freedom to live as we please. But treasure hunters loot the ruins in our territory and we left the wilds. We dwelled in it for generations. Most of my clan mates scattered to towns around the Deerwood and probably live on crusts of bread. Resorting to this uh, restoring this medallion to the ruins would earn us the god's favor, and shattered spears would go home. This is all rather fascinating. A single medallion to earn the god's favor and so return home? It rather reminds me of a story I heard somewhere. I don't understand why you can't take your money and return to Kithos. Of course I could, but that's not the point. The community isn't a place. It's a connection in history and meaning. It's like an anchor. Defending the runes for the gods uh, gave us a purpose. Without that, we're adrift. Does that make any sense to you? Yes. 
and you know what it's like how to care for something you can't explain that's all I want to ask so will you help me get my medallion hmm I'll see about getting this medallion for you. Find her at the Salty Mist. Um, noble, let's talk to her. Understudy. So this is what? This is not an inn? What is this? Show me your menu. Let's see your rooms. There we go. Plus two perception. Plus two. Uh, this must be the upper clientele. Weapon, shield, and armor have properties fine, sexual, and superb. So we definitely wanted to go with the superb. Bandit. Bandit. Bandit leader. I have a little chat with my associates. I'm sure, we'll take the booze. And that's stealing. Okay. I'm glad that there's a little icon that says when you're stealing and when you're not. Otherwise, it'd be damn confusing. Because you're always like, ah. Is it stealing or is it not stealing? Pirates. So this is a bunch of low class. Thugs and scrupulous characters. Not the chest. Sure, we'll talk to them. Watch out. It's interesting that all these characters have stories and stuff. But without any meaning or context behind them, they're kind of worthless. I mean, that's just my opinion. But you have to have some sort of context of where these adventures and stuff come from. So, there must be meaning behind the madness. That's a good story. Like, the NPCs. I mean, I get that this is like a city and stuff like that. Jesus, look at all this dialogue. See, I'm not going to read all that. That's crazy talk. I'm not sure what's important and what's not important. So where are we at now? Some Ramon House something another. Okay. Is this thievery? Nope. See what's going on here. Beastry contains all the information you have unlocked about every creature type that you have fought. Let's see what this guy. Hail traveler. I don't recognize you. What business do you have at house tonight? Tell me about the house. It's an old and respected family. Much of the distant very prosperous due to the house. Farewell. Why would you attack them? Why is that an option? I slaughter people because I can. Well met, friend. Uh, tell, uh, tell me about yourself. I am master of the sanitarium. 
Currently, I'm researching matters relating to Wyvern's legacy. What's Wyvern's legacy? First to the rise of the hollow-born children in Deerwood. In recent years, some of the connection is so-called Balwaks, and blow through Aaron's uh, gif and hardly any reliable data on those. Though I can uh, really comment. I don't care. Uh, I don't much care for the term Stalin's legacy. It reeks of superstitions, as too prevalent to change at that point. Personally, I like to see people take on a more methodical approach to these matters rather than throwing up their hands and blaming the gods. Good to hear someone speaking sense of the matter. What are you busy with? I'm studying soul attachment. We all know that souls move into people at birth and out of them at death, but we still have a lot of questions about what makes them stick, so to speak. What do you mean, make them stick? Souls power bodies and give them the tissue life, and only when they firmly attach, it separates can lead to a whole sp uh, spur of soul-related elements, including the hollowborn. But if we understood how to reattach souls, we could end the Merlin's legacy, maybe even conquer death. That's the theory, anyway. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, all of the research I need to put into practice. What exactly do you need? There's a manuscript called The Theorem of Panagram. It contains research of the Panagram's experiments and detached souls. The Hollis of Relatives Mysteries is rumored to have a copy of the Elder Archives. Panagram's works is considered to be one of the more daring animates in texts. Not something generally circulating among novice, nor easy to get a hold of. I wonder if we might have a peek at it. The Theorems have advanced my research by leaps and bounds, but Grimora and the High... Arcanists worship Wally, which means that she has a paradoxic view on sharing and restricting uh, knowledge. And since she's not uh, exactly a proponent of animacy, she tends to restrict the kind of information that would be useful to me. Maybe she could be persuaded. Welcome to try, but you wouldn't be the first. Anyways, I should probably get back to my work. I'll leave you to it. Answer. Judicar. Who's which, which? Which way is this way? Which way to the Fame District? Okay. So whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go to the Sanatorium. Greetings. Uh, that's all I wanted to ask. Farewell. Yes. Let's go here. Smaller and faster weapons tend to have a lower interruption rate, but attacks with higher frequency. Travel to retrieve and research from Ren's laboratory. Watch out for soul. Noble, noble animancer. Answer. Watch out for soul. More Animancers. Sanctum Guard. Guard. Just your dexterity affects action speed of characters and their reflex defenses. It may be used for conversation and script interaction, for sleight of hand and actions involving fast movement. So, which is dented and square with claw marks. So we have an animancer who works with the living. Hail, traveler! Here I am. I am looking so hard for answers in my researches. What do you do here? According to my research, uh, Grant, I study awakenings. Sublime and pre-awakening souls uh, has been an animancer's 
Greatest successes, and I am working on a method to replicate the process of awakened souls. Oh, well, this is a good place to stop. Make sure to like and subscribe, because we're getting late on time. See ya, folks. Bye.